So in this next chapter, we'll be understanding how to actually control the flow of your logic and also what exactly conditional statements are and how to use them and also how to write down loops in Apex and what are the different types of loops that are available in Apex. So what are we waiting for? Let's begin. So the number one and very popular conditional statement that we have is if statement. We all know about it. A lot of you already know about uh, all of these logic control or conditional statements as well as looping statement. But I would still request you to watch uh, all of these videos because there might be some difference uh, in Apex than in uh, any other programming language. So please bear with me for a moment. So let's first understand what exactly if statement means. So if statement basically means that if uh, there is a particular condition, then only you want a set of code or a set of lines to be executed in your code, then you'll uh, write down this conditional statement if. What that basically means is like, let's say, if uh, the amount is greater than 100 rupees, then only the tax should be applied. If it is less than 100 rupees, then the tax should not be applied. This is a particular situation. So how are you going to identify uh, that like whether this is greater uh, like whether the amount is greater than 100 or not uh, with the help of a, of course a conditional statement of the greater than operator uh, with the help of greater than operator you will be able to identify it but you would need if statement in order to execute a particular set of code uh, if that condition returns true or if that operator returns true. So over here we have got an example. If an inside, so this is again, this is just a simple syntax of how to actually write down an if statement. So you first write down if, which is just again a keyword, then parenthesis, and inside the parenthesis you have to write down the condition, right? Uh, like when talking about writing down a condition, uh, this condition can be anything, and in fact there can be multiple conditions inside this, like inside these parentheses that you can write down. But at the end. Whatever the output should be, it should it should be a boolean output. Uh, boolean means basically means either it should be like it should be either true or false. It cannot be anything else. Like in uh, C programming language, uh, zero is considered as false and one is considered as true or vice versa, whatever that is. Uh, like so over there, if condition also takes integers as a parameter. Uh, to like whether whether uh, to evaluate whether to execute the particular set of code or not, but in the case of Apex, uh, like whatever condition you write down, it should either return a true or return a false. And if this condition returns true, then the code which is written inside this particular block, right, inside these curly braces, will get executed. Whatever the code that you have written down over here will get executed if this condition which is written over here returns a true. So that's how easy conditional statements are, but uh, that's not it. We have got multiple versions of conditional statements. So the first one is if, and then we have got if else statement as well. I know this is no rocket science, but uh, we still have to go through them one by one. So if else basically means that if this condition is true, execute this code. But if this condition is not true, then execute the other code which is written inside the else block. So it's just an extension of the if statement. Uh, inside if, like that particular code will get executed if the condition returns true, uh, and if it returns false, then it will skip that part. But in the case of if and else, either one of the code will get executed depending on whether the condition returns true in the if statement or returns false. If it returns true, then in that case, the code which is written inside the if block will get executed. And if this condition which is written over here returns false, then the else block will get executed. That's how easy it is. After understanding if and if else statements, we have got if else if statements as well. And let's see what that means. So here is a simple example of if else statement, if else if statements. So the first block is again nothing but if condition, if this condition returns true, like let's say, okay, so we have written down condition one uh, over here and in the else if block we have written down condition 2 and in the else if another else if block we have written down condition 3 um, so that's the case so let me tell you what exactly is the difference between if else and if else if if else is uh, basically used for a binary situation in which either it can be true or it can be false but if you want to, if you need to deal with a situation or a scenario in which 
there can be multiple conditions based on which you need to decide which code to execute and which code you need to skip, right? So in that case, uh, you'll use if else if statement. And how to use that? Just, it's, it's very simple. Again, just write down if block. If the condition one returns true, this code will get executed. If it returns false, then only it will go and evaluate the condition two, which is written inside else if block just after it, right? And if condition two returns true, then this code will get executed and it will skip all the other else ifs and else which is written with this particular if else if statement. And if this condition two returns false, then it will go and evaluate condition three. So that's how it works. If condition one is true, it will not evaluate condition two, it will not evaluate condition three and so, so on. Similarly, if condition one is false and condition two is true, it will not evaluate condition three. But if condition one and condition two both are false, then in that case, condition three will be evaluated. And if it returns true, then this code will get executed. And if condition three also returns false, that means all of the uh, conditions are returning false, then in that case, the else statement or the else block or the code written inside the else block will get executed. So that's basically what the difference is between if else and if else if it's 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 a binary uh, thing and it, it it is so yeah you need to use if else uh, if there is a binary condition if there is only one condition that you need to evaluate and based on that you need to identify which code to execute or evaluate which code to execute and which not to and when it comes to if else if uh, if you have multiple conditions go for if else if that's what the situation is and by the way all of these if statements, if else statements, if else if statements can be nested as well. What that basically means is that inside this if condition, if you want to evaluate another condition, you can just write down another if statement in here. So you can create as many nested conditional statements as you want or as you need. So there's no limit onto it and you can actually write down nested conditional statements in Apex. There's no problem with that. And this, this is again no rocket science. <laughs>